Nice to have you with us. Presidential candidate Bill Clinton played saxophone on what late night TV show? The Arsenio Hall show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it was Arsenio Hall! Yeah, Arsenio Hall! All right, here's our next question worth $25. Because it has to. Trying to get past the line, trying to get 20. The red team has done it. You can stop. The red team has done it. Coming up here with Blaze and Super Sloppy Double there. It's Super Sloppy Double there. And now, here's your Super Sloppy Double there host, the Mr. Clean of the 20th Century Mall. co-host today and your name is Steven, right? Yep. And didn't you tell me you've been on TV before? Yes. What'd you do? I'm on a commercial, Two Buck for a Burger, Burger King. That's very good. And when you get older, do you want to be in show business? Y yeah. Oh, good. You did a great job. And for being a co-host today, we're going to give you a super sloppy Double Dare t-shirt, all right? Round of applause. You go back to your chair. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Steven. Careful, it's wet down there. He's terrific, and we have a team here. Boy, uh, folks, have you seen this, by the way? This is terrific. Uh, we have a team to my right. Uh, they call themselves the Buggers. Say hello to Jackie and Jasone. Is that right? Close. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, Jackie likes to travel. Where'd you go last summer? Europe. And where in Europe did you go? Holland. And did you like it there? Yeah, I loved it. We just uh, sold this program called Double Dare over to the uh, network over there, and it's called Dinkin' and Do. That's how you say Double Dare there, Dinkin' and Do. And it's just, now, do this for me, because I keep messing it up. Just Sony. Just Sony. Okay, just Sony. And uh, you're a karate person, so I better get this right. Otherwise, you'll come <laughs> over and beat me up, I guess, huh? What belt do you have? Brown. Okay, nice to have you here. Thank we have you. a team over to my left. They have a great name. <laughs> they call themselves Saliva Cannon Rich. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ken. How are you? All right. You have a, a political future, they tell me. Yeah. What, uh, what party, first of all? Republican. Okay, and uh, what would you like to be? Senate Majority Leader. All right. Well, I hope that happens. Someday I'll probably be voting for you. And Rich, uh, you're on the stage crew at school. I did that. Uh, yeah. What do you want to do when you get out of school? I'm um, probably police officer, I guess. All right. You have $20 and uh, control right now. Let's talk about the rules here on uh, Super Sloppy Double Dare. I'm going to be asking you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Funhouse doesn't have one of these. We do. Okay. <laughs> we have uh, a $10 question for Saliva. That's the name of the team. Uh, which U.S. state has the largest area? We're 10, or you can dare them. Texas. Texas is incorrect. It's Alaska. No dare at stake, no money changing place, but control over here to the buggers, Jackie and Jasoni. What brand of soup is mm -mm good? Campbell's. Yes, $10 added over here to the buggers. And uh, they can tie the game right here with this next question. What American author wrote the classic books Grapes of Wrath and Of Mice and Men? Dare. Now worth $20. Who's the author of Grapes of Wrath and Of Mice and Men? Or you can double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 40. Do you know the author or do you want to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. The author is John Steinbeck. And we have a physical challenge right down over here. If you ladies could come down here with me. And uh, chances are 
Well, all the people who are watching us, with the exception of those people in Fresno, have already had their breakfast. And uh, we're going to make some pancakes. These are a little huge. Uh, I think you probably would want to be uh, catching pancakes, and I think you'd want to be tossing them. So you go over there, and Dave would like to show you this huge platter that you're going to be catching these pancakes on. Now, over here, we have the pancakes. And when I say go, what I want you to do is to dip these way deep around, turn around, get them good and wet, and then toss them over there to your partner from behind this container over here. Now, you must catch four in 20 seconds or less, all right? Now, the one thing I forgot to tell you is when you get pancakes, they're no fun with just syrup on them. What else do you like on your pancakes? Butter. Uh, what else? Say, say whipped cream. Whipped cream. Oh, good. I'm so glad you say that. Because up above your partner, you see there's a container of whipped cream that is quite large. And when you get done holding those four uh, pancakes, you and you alone must come over here. You must turn around, pull this little handle, and down will come lots of whipped cream to cover that. If you have four in 20 seconds on that platter, you get $40. Otherwise, the money goes to the other side. On your mark. Get set. Go. Dip them in there. Start tilting them across. Oh, excuse me, just polishing this up here. Uh, welcome back. It's uh, still round one here on Super Sloppy Double Dare, and the buggers almost caught four pancakes. Actually, they did, but they didn't get the whipped cream on on time, so the $40 went over here to saliva. I just love saying that word, saliva. That's the name of the team. And here's a $10 question. What is a tarantella? Is it a dangerous snake? Is it an Italian dance? Or is it Penn's silent partner? There. Now worth a 20. A tarantella. A dangerous snake? An Italian dance, pen silent partner. Double dare. Now worth 40. What is it? Or are you going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. It is an Italian dance, and we have a $40 physical challenge down here for Ken and Rich. Come on over here, if you would. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Meet George Jetson. Uh, <laughs> this is called, I love the name of this, Trash Head. And you know why we call it Trash Head? No. Well, Dave, show them why we call it Trash Head. See, we have this little trash bucket that we're going to put over somebody's head. Who wants to uh, be the trash head here? <laughs> you do. All right, he's going to be head of the Senate someday, so he couldn't possibly be seen in this. They'll use those pictures someday. We'll put that on you. And back over here, of course, we're going to find nothing but trash. And uh, what we have are uh, bags of old pudding. All right? And when I say go, you have to toss this pudding where? Over there into that uh, top of that lid. Now, once you get it open, you can keep it there, and you must get one bag of pudding in there. And then we have an egg. Right, Robin? And uh, why are you holding those eggs there, Robin? Were you thinking of protection? Like what? Would you think somebody would actually like throw one of these? Like that? Is that what they do? <laughs> and, <then, laughs> and then you must toss an egg over there and make sure that it gets inside the bucket, just like that. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you have to take a banana peel and you have to toss it over there and catch it in there. Now, once you get it open, once, a man, or once again, you can actually uh, keep it open, all right? So we have, uh, what do we have, 20 seconds to get... Uh, to get uh, each one of those things in there, forty dollars a stake. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go ahead. Oh, 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 like a bird fell over me. I have pudding on me, too. Now, why do I have pudding on me? I can't figure that out. Anyway, that was great. How did it feel to get that bag of pudding in there? <laughs> That's a nice. A little strange. All right, you folks now have $100, and uh, you also have uh, this question. On Perfect Strangers, what's the name of the newspaper where Larry and Balky work? Chicago Chronicle. Chicago Chronicle? Is incorrect. It's the Chicago Tribune. Right city, wrong paper. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Come on, buggers. Let's get some money on the board there. Name three of the four groups of instruments in a traditional orchestra. It's worth ten, or you can dare them. Violin, cello, flute, and clarinet. 
It's incorrect. We were going for brass, woodwind, percussion, and strings. So once again, no dare at stake, no money changing place. Control back to Ken and Rich, the saliva team. What group recorded the song Perfect World on a 1988 album titled Small World? Dare. Or you can dare them. Dare. Now we're 20. Do you know uh, which group did that? No. Double dare. Double dare. dare. Now worth 40. Uh, what is the uh, group, or are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. It's Huey Lewis and the News, and we have another physical challenge right down over here. And, uh... That is the worst egg I've ever had. Robin, we've been doing this for a while, but that is the worst one. Uh, we're going to make donuts, and this time I'm going to have you stand right over here, sir. As a matter of fact, and we have uh, some donuts coming up over this direction. In fact, you're going to help your partner. You need to stay right over here, because when I say go, all you're going to have to do is take these donuts and put them right there on your partner's head, okay? But you'll be standing right under this little thing here, and that's going to be where our glazer is, because when we push this down, a little glazed kind of sauce will come down, and then you must come all the way over here and dip your head where into this box, all right? Now, you must have four donuts in that box in 30 seconds or less and if you do that we'll give you another forty dollars all right now if it pardon me uh, he pulls the string you just stand there forward if it falls off only you can put it back on all right four donuts in the box in 30 seconds or less on your mark get set go Super sloppy double there. Oh, that was great. Well, $40 goes over there to the buggers. They now have 50, and that sound needs to be in around one. We have 100 over here, 50 over here. Coming back, we have a $40 toss-up. So these are very, very tight. And I'm just going to follow this polish this day. This serves a little bit. We'll come back with lots more. Super sloppy double. I'm going to dig it by here. It's round two, uh, two, two, round two here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. <laughs> oh, no! I don't. <laughs> Robin, I don't believe it. Here, Dave, catch one of those. They don't break on you. I don't believe it. I'm throwing eggs at this guy all day. They don't break. Anyway, welcome back. It's round two here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. All the dollar values will be doubled, and when you hear this sound right here, that means the game is over. Going for $40, controller round two. Over here we have sponges that must be sent via the airwaves to your partners who must squeeze them over their heads. But we have little holes on the bottom part here, so the water will be dripping down on you and on you. And if you can fill it past the line in no time at all, you'll get $40. Boy, egg shampoo. Huh? Nice hair. You like it? I feel like Mo. On your mark, get set, go! Hey, Mo! Hey, Mo! Oh, put that down over your head there. Just squeeze, squeeze that stuff right there. Uh, judges, oh my, uh, that uh, actually are down there watching at all times, and as long as it goes past the line, uh, they hold up a little flag, and they said the blue team did it. They have $90 in control of this question. I'd like to know what car company had a model called the Beetle? Dare. Now worth 40. What car company had a model called the Beetle? Volkswagen. You're right, at $40, you now have $140. <laughs> team Saliva. All right, here's your next question. <laughs> I'm a grown-up. Uh, which of the following is not a Beach Boys song? Surfing USA, Surfing Sam the Sham, or Surfing Safari? Wait, um, the second one? 
Surf, second one, Surf and Sam the Sham is your answer? You're right, at $20. That is the right answer. And uh, what snack food was invented by a monk who shaped his food item to look like the folded arms of praying children? There. Now worth 40. What snack food was invented by a monk who shaped his food item to look like the folded arms of praying children? Physical dare. 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 Well, they're going to take the physical challenge, I have a feeling. Do you know what it is, or are you going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. Pretzel is the answer, and we have a physical challenge down here for saliva. Ken and Rich. Oh, my. Uh, just been punctured here by our award there. Stay. Don't move. Okay. Uh, what do we have down here? Well, we have something here that you can sit on, and uh, those are pies, as a matter of fact. There are lots of pies over there. What I want to see are uh, two of them in the little container, and the way you do that is when I say go, you each come over here and sit down on one of those little pies and just sort of walk like this over here, and then what we want to see you do is go <laughs> and shake the pie right inside that little... Uh, now, you can scrape it down like that if you want, but you must have two pies in uh, 30 seconds. $80 at stake. If you get it, uh, you get the lead. Otherwise... Uh, they're going to take the lead by $10. On your mark, get set, go! And sit on in there and get the pie in. You can do it together. Yes, you both sit down. And as soon as you do that, you can go all the way over there. We're looking for two pies in 30 seconds. There goes the first one. This pie keeps falling off. If you can get one more on, get it to fall in the container. Yes, they did it with 13 seconds remaining. We're going to add $80. Come on back. Well... That means you now have, uh, you have won the game because that sound is the end of the game with $240. Saliva has won today's game of Super Sloppy Double Dare. $120 a piece and more important, a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare obstacle course. Ladies, you just had no, no way to get in the second part here. They were just uh, stealing all the time away from you. Nobody goes away with 90. We're going to make that $100. That's $50 a piece. Our congratulations for coming here and uh, lovely parting gifts. Right, Harvey? Yes, <laughs> indeed, Mark. How about the word was Don't look it up. Punch it up and break it. It is from the correct spelling of 80,000 words by Miriam Webster. He plays exciting word games, too. Plus, we'll give him the Ray-Ban Smart Star Collection from Bausch & Long. There, what's happening in kids' fashion? Serious sunglasses for kids who want to look their coolest. Available in various styles and colors. And it's white 2500 heat metal detector. Allows you to reject junk items and balance out ground metals. Push button retuning and preset controls make it simple to operate from white electronics. We're getting ready to go to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course. Don't go away. Hi, welcome to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course. The eggs got in my hair and it turned into uh, this kind of thing. And we're here with a team that calls themselves Saliva. We're going to start off with Soda Jerk. And here's what you have to do. We have three little pedals. There's one, there's two. Oh, look at that. And number three. And you must step on those uh, pedals one at a time. And hopefully a little uh, grape, orange, or cola will come down. And a flag. Grab that flag, pass it to your partner. And what's the first prize, Harvey? Uh, from Casio, it's the SKH sample keyboard. You can record a sample of any sound from raindrop to balloon pop. Back from Casio. Who's doing obstacle number two? That's yours. Okay, that's popcorn. You must turn this little popcorn area over, and the kernels will fall to the floor. And in those kernels are a flag. Are a flag is a flag, or there will be a flag. <laughs> Find it, pass it, and win this. <laughs> it's Unitron UFO binoculars. No need to focus at 40 feet and beyond. Viewing less than 40 feet. Use it like ordinary binoculars from Unitron. Optical number three is one called Snowstorm, and what I want you to do is uh, look what's going on in there. You'll be in there in just a few moments. You'll have to crawl through that area, grab the flag all the way up there. On the way out, you can pass the flag, and you can win this prize. It's a brand new bag from the East Back, the leader of the pack, the center backs for school, play, and travel. East Back bags are stylish and tough, and they're built to last. New one here on Super Sloppy Double Dare called Drum Roll, and you must get inside here and walk around. And as you walk, this thing will turn, and your body will continue to stay in one straight line, hopefully. And down here, this is where you want to be. You see the flag is all the way over here. You'll be in that huge drum. You'll pull this off, and you'll pass it to your partner. And uh, Harvey, I believe there's a prize now, isn't there? It sure is, Mark. It's Magna Mountain Bikes. More power to climb and accelerate. Magna, the hot new name on the streets, distributed by Dynacraft Industries Incorporated. Five is Kid Farm, and what you have to do is go up this ladder, and then you come down over here and, uh, wait a minute, hold on, there's a, a paw there. Harvey, is that, what are you doing up there? Oh, hi, Mark. Hi. Uh, well, you know, we got all these great new super sloppy obstacles. Yeah. And enough money left over for Velcro for this one, so guess <laughs> who gets to hold the flag? So you're going to be there the whole time? The whole time. All right, so you go down there, and you come around, you grab that flag out of Harvey's hand, and then your partner will be waiting over here, <laughs> you'll pass it to him, and what will you win? They will win from Cassie on the TV Number 
number six today is Moonwalk. And look in there, there's lots of uh, green cheese, and there's also a flag in there somewhere. As soon as you find that flag, pass it and win this. Smith Corona is easy to use XD5500 memory typewriter with 50,000 word dictionary, liquid crystal display, and correcting cassette. American made by Smith Corona. Have any questions? No. How about you? No. Okay, well, what we want you to do is sit down on this tricycle, and, oh, that could be uncomfortable. And then you go all the way through that brick wall, and on the other side is the flag. Pick it up, pass it, and win this. The <laughs> Megabat Flag Control Remote Control VCR. With on-screen display, allows you to simply control your remote control events with a barcode scanner on background. Number eight is the final one today, and this is called Down the Hatch. And lift this up, and what will you find in there? Well, you'll find a tongue, and although it's a gag on the bottom, at the end of that gag is a flag. If you had that flag in your head in 60 seconds or less, we have a super prize today, don't we? Have <laughs> This is the way the wonderful course looks today, and we're going to gack things up right about now. Harvey, can I peel your grape up there? <laughs> 60 seconds on the clock. On your mark, get set, go! Jump on those things! Down to that one, down to the next one! Down to that one, this is the third one! There it is, right behind you! Pass it over that one! Number two now is popcorn! Number three is snowcorn! Pull that thing down, all the way down! Find that flag, and there, find those cookies! And there's the flag, number three! Snowstorm is next! Somehow you pulled it together. Our congratulations here from Super Sloppy Double Dare. Join us here often. You can win lots of prizes, lots of money, and have lots of fun as well. See you soon. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Super Sloppy Double Dare. And by Nintendo, the Nintendo Power Set with the exciting power pad. You and your friends will run, skip, and jump your way to victory only from Nintendo. And also by KB. Where do you go to find great toys? KB Toy Stores. And where do you go to find KB Toy Stores? Your nearest shopping mall. KB, America's Toy Store. This is your announcer, Harvey saying join us back here next time for more award-winning fun on Super Sloppy Double Day. Bye-bye. Red Tom.